Hello, class. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm sick. <laughs> you sound very sick. Yes, that's why I'm, I'm not going to put my camera on. No worries, it's okay. I don't feel well. <laughs> what happened? What do you feel? Uh, my throat hurts. And I have cough. <clears throat> and it's very na na nasal. 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 So you have the flu. Yes. I have a terrible weekend. Did you work today? I went, but they, they sent me back. How many days do you have? Uh, with this, this is my third. <coughs> but uh, it has been uh, one year and a half since I didn't get sick. No, but like, how many days did you go to Seguro Social or something? No. Oh, no, no, no. I I think uh, maybe tomorrow in the afternoon or on Wednesday. No, oh, okay. I, uh, but I was telling you that I haven't, I have, I haven't been sick since one year and a half. And that happens when you take a, a long, many, many years without getting sick or many days. When you get sick, you really get sick. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Well, I hope you feel better. Thank you. What about you, class? How are you? Hey, Claudia Hiron, how are you? Claudia Hiron, are you there? Yes, I'm here. How are you? How was your weekend? It was good. good With back to back, but good. You had a back to back weekend? Yes. I hate back to backs. They're terrible. Yes. Bert, how was your weekend? Mm, pretty good. I mean, it was productive because I, I, I'm working in a, on a personal stuff uh, besides the electronic stuff. I'm working on development uh, software, but my software. So, I mean, it was really productive because I, it was so, uh, it was a cold case because I, I, since last year, maybe I don't remember when I touched the, the last time. But yes, the Saturday and Sunday, I work on it. Yeah, it was productive. So you're making like your own software. Yeah, that's right. This is, I want to, I mean, I've been thinking about it since five years ago or more. But the thing is, uh, I'm gonna tell you something. I, I, what I don't like, what I hate about my field, my career, is that everything, whatever, is changing so quickly, and mm -hmm. that you don't have something, a product to gift or sell because the next two year or the next year it will be different. I mean, new operating system, new computer, new. I mean. Now you gonna we're gonna have the VR, <laughs> so I have to think about it to, to to sell because nobody else maybe in the future in two three years we're no longer using phone but the VR, <laughs> so I have to update my software to that. Yeah, it's like cell phones. You buy a yeah, cell phone today, right. and six months is the new one, the new one, the new one. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is similar. I mean, and this, at the same time, it's interesting because you don't get bored of that. Think about it. Before I was a developer, I was an accountant, accountant assistant. I work uh, nine years. And let me tell you that for me, I I knew so I was so like a robot. I know everything what to do. I mean, it's good to know what to do uh, because that never will change accounting. <laughs> Saying Pacioli, you know, Lucas Pacioli, the bright Lucas Pacioli who invented the accounting. So it's the same, never changed. So I was working like a robot. I mean, just all mechanical as an accountant. But now it's different because now I use my <laughs> my brain to, to think, to, to think logically. And, and that's good. I mean, I think that's good. Of course, yes, it's true. What about you, Dennis? How was your weekend? Oh, actually, it was very relaxed. I just stay at home, I think. Let's see. Yeah, I just went to the market for a few things that I was needing at home. But now it was nothing in there was nothing interesting. I just stay at home watching TV and doing some some things at, at home. Yeah, nothing interesting. Well, that's good. You rested. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Actually, okay. I am. I am on on vacation, so I am trying to to rest the more the most that I can because uh, let's see. Next week, I am gonna go back to my work, so I wanna I wanna stay at home, relax. Maybe I'm gonna go out this week, but nothing exhausting. So you are like on your annual vacation, correct? Yeah, exactly. That's that's what I mean. Oh, okay. Hey, that's good. That's cool. Hold on, let me check one thing. Hold oh, down, please. Okay, what about you, Dalila? How are you? How was your weekend? Dalila, are you there? Yes, I'm here. I'm so sorry. That's okay. How was your weekend? Um, everything was okay. Uh, um, boring because I didn't do any difference that I usually do. Oh, okay. But you know what? That's good though because you don't you stayed home. You didn't waste money and you rested. <laughs> Angela, how was your weekend? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Classmate. Um, very well, teacher. What did you do? Um, in <laughs> uh, 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 uh. um, all the things, the same, lo mismo de siempre. In English, please. The same or the same? Excuse me, teacher. That's okay. Um, is my, my vecino. <laughs> my neighbor. My neighbor, yes. Teacher, um, I'm not sure that my camera is off or is... It's on, I see you. Really? I see you, yes. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I'm not sure because I know 
como diría, no podía entrar. <laughs> oh, I couldn't come in. Yes. No, no, but I see you. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. oh, no problem. So tell me, how was your weekend? My weekend uh, was the when the show with my family and uh, we come back to uh, my home, uh, my house, and uh, only only that. Okay, you you went to church with your family. In Santa Tecla, the Shoei Temple of Betel. Okay, good. But you went you went to church with your family, correct? Yes. Okay, good. Awesome. Nice. What about you? Or oh, Allison, I said Jonathan, how was your weekend? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Mm -hmm. My weekend, I have to work. I don't, I didn't rest. So you work Saturday and Sunday? Yes. When do you rest? Next week. <laughs> wait, wait, but why? Because you chose to, you did extra hours, or because you don't rest? Um, um, I had to support my co-worker with a system the stress test. It's a special day. Mm -hmm. No pasa todos los días. Okay. And Denia. Hi. Hi, Denia. How was your weekend? Uh, it was uh, a little busy. The Saturday I have a um how do you say uh, cita medica? I had a doctor's appointment. A doctor's appointment and I was all day in the clinic. Um the Sunday I Go, was go to the church. Um, excuse me, Sunday, and, uh, Sun. Excuse me, Sunday. I was go to the church. I don't understand. Okay, I go to the church. I but, went. Um, I go, went. I went. Uh -huh. Sorry, I went. That's okay. To the to the church, and the afternoon I. Uh, wash the clothes in the washing machine but it's work because i have to put in and go out the clothes so <laughs> that's what was my my weekend i'm sorry but okay you wash the clothes but you had to go in and put out i don't understand uh in the washing machine uh-huh oh inside the clothes and what? I don't know if it's good to say that con el ropa y sacarla adentro de la de la máquina you washed your clothes right you put it in uh -huh. and you take out okay take out mm -hmm. that was my my weekend okay good do you have a dryer? Mm, mm, I don't know what what they mean, drivers. Ah, yeah, Dr yeah. Dr dryer. No, no, I don't have the the máquina de secadora, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. No, I don't have. It's more 
expensive. And the clothes, ¿cómo se dice? Ajada, sale ajada. O sea, como arrugada o no. No, no realmente. I have a dryer. I have a dryer. No, sale. Hasta casi planchada, sale. Oh. But no, I don't have the dryer. Dry, no. Dryer. 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 Dryer, sorry. No, it's okay. Um... Okay, so remember last week, the last thing we did was reported speech, correct? Yes, teacher. Thank you. We did, rep we did reported speech. Do you remember, class, what is a reported speech? When you say something that someone else told you. Okay. When 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 you say something that you someone else told you, can you be more sí, specific, necesito. please? When you give your own version of something. Okay, when you give your own version of something, yeah. Okay, and what is a quoted speech? Do you remember that? When you say the same specific words that someone else used in the past. Okay, yes. So, yeah, when you quote the exact words. Okay, let's do to let's do this listening exercise. Oh, hold on, let me share my screen with you. Do you see my screen? Yes, teacher, yep. I see your Good. screen. Good, thank you. Yes. Okay, let's listen to this exercise. Listen to Nicole's and Tony's news. Check the correct pictures. One, Nicole. I got some incredible news over the weekend. Yeah? What happened, Nicole? Well, my sister is finally getting married. Really? Wow, that is exciting. How long have they been seeing each other? Oh, I mean, it's been over four years since they met. My mother has always said that they would get married someday, but no one expected it to happen now. And you know what? The funny part is how it happened. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, listen. My sister told me that they were eating at this fancy restaurant, and while they were reading over the menu, listening to some classical music? Uh, let me guess. He pulled out a ring and asked her to marry him. No, Smarty. The other way around. She asked him. She said she got right down on one knee and proposed. Yeah? Yeah. And he was pretty surprised, I think. But of course, he immediately said yes. Listen, they're planning a wedding for the fall. Well, that is great news. Yeah, and I'm sure they'll be very happy together. Yeah. Now I have to start thinking about the wedding. She asked me if I would be a bridesmaid in the wedding. So, you know, I have to buy a dress, and then I have to... Two. Tony. Why the long face, Tony? Oh, I got some bad news today. What happened? Well, you know my job at the design studio? Yes. Well... Oh, no. Oh, yes. Today, the boss called me into his office and told me they had to lay me off. That means as of April 30th, I'm out of work. Oh. No more job. Oh, Tony, I'm so sorry. You said you really liked working there, too. Yeah, well, it's not all bad news. The boss told me there's still a small chance that the company would call me back in the summer if the work picked up. You never know what'll happen. They may need me then. <sighs> 
This is so sudden, isn't it? Well, not really. See, the boss also explained that two other employees had already been laid off. I had a feeling I might be the next one in line. You know, I've only been working there ten months, so I don't have any seniority. If they're going to lay someone off, it's always going to be the newer employees first. What are you going to do? Like I said, I've still got a job until the end of the month. Starting in May, I plan to send out resumes and go on some interviews. Depending on the outcome of the interviews, I may be... Okay, so according to Nicole's story, what do you think is A or B? A. A, why? It's A. Uh, yeah, uh, she said that in this case, it, it was the other way that she asked to the boy to get married. Yes, the, she didn't ask, she proposed. She proposed, okay. Okay, yeah. and, and according to Tony, what is it, A or B? What about Tony? Is it A or B? He was fired. <laughs> he wasn't really fired. He was laid off. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah, but... but do you understand the difference? <clears throat> um, como puesto en espera. <laughs> no. When you're fired, let me give you an example. Where do you work, Allison? I work at Perseus. It's a software company. Okay, what is the name? I'm sorry, what is the name? Sorry, uh, I work at Perseus. It, it is a software company. Okay, now imagine your company I imagine you have many clients, correct? Allison, are you listening? Hello? Okay, class. So the difference Hello, between honey. hi, okay, class. The difference between layoff and get fired, when you get fired is because you did something bad. Something bad for maybe not coming to work and not reporting, not doing your metrics. You're not doing your work and you get fired. When you get laid off, it's, it's because maybe the company needs to re reduce the staff. Yes, so, so the company needs to do a cut. So it may be. Sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry, <laughs> you go ahead. <laughs> oh, thank you. No, I was going to say that could it be also the case when the contract has finished so and they are not going to renew the contract? No, that's different because you, you have a contract that it expired. So it doesn't but, fix the like layoff? No, because, because when you have a contract and the person doesn't want to continue with you, you can't say, man, I was fired or I was laid off. It's just that would be a renew. Ah, okay. I'm sorry, I thought we had to complete that by last Friday. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, we did, but why well, you did it? Yes, yes, I did it because I was worried about it. <laughs> yeah, no, no Due worries. To message sent on Thursday, I guess. Yeah, but you know, I don't really, eh, don't really pay attention to them because sometimes even the platform doesn't even work. <laughs> uh, yes, I had some issues. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I imagine. Okay. Okay. So, okay. so you understand the difference between getting fired and getting laid off? When when you get fired, it's because algo hiciste. You did something. When you get laid off, maybe you didn't do something, but hey, for example, with the pandemia. With the pandemic, many, many people got laid off. Okay, let's listen to 
the conversation again in part two. So Eden Hazard was laid off. Yes, he was laid off. Because if you remember, okay. he said he said that his boss told him that maybe there is a possibility that he will they will call him again. Mm -hmm. I saw he had a contract till next year. Mm -hmm. But he wasn't fired. No, he wasn't fired. Okay. Okay, let's listen to this again. Listen to Nicole's and Tony's news. Check the correct pictures. One, Nicole. I got some incredible news over the weekend. Yeah? What happened, Nicole? Well, my sister is finally getting married. Really? Well, that is exciting. How long have they been seeing each other? Oh, I mean, it's been over four years since they met. My mother has always said that they would get married someday, but no one expected it to happen now. And you know what? The funny part is how it happened. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, listen. My sister told me that they were eating at this fancy restaurant, and while they were reading over the menu, listening to some classical music? Uh, let me guess. He pulled out a ring and asked her to marry him. No, Smarty, the other way around. She asked him. She said she got right down on one knee and proposed. Yeah? Yeah, and he was pretty surprised, I think. But of course, he immediately said yes. Listen, they're planning a wedding for the fall. Well, that is great news. Yeah, and I'm sure they'll be very happy together. Yeah, now I have to start thinking about the wedding. She asked me if I would be a bridesmaid in the wedding. So, you know, I have to buy a dress, and then I have to... Two, Tony. Why the long face, Tony? Oh, I got some bad news today. What happened? Well, you know my job at the design studio? Yes. Well... Oh, no. Oh, yes. Today, the boss called me into his office and told me they had to lay me off. That means as of April 30th, I'm out of work. Oh. No more job. Oh, Tony, I'm so sorry. You said you really liked working there, too. Yeah, well, it's not all bad news. The boss told me there's still a small chance that the company would call me back in the summer if the work picked up. You never know what'll happen. They may need me then. Oh, this is so sudden, isn't it? Well, not really. See, the boss also explained that two other employees had already been laid off. I had a feeling I might be the next one in line. You know, I've only been working there ten months, so I don't have any seniority. If they're going to lay someone off, it's always going to be the newer employees first. What are you going to do? Like I said, I've still got a job until the end of the month. Starting in May, I plan to send out resumes and go on some interviews. Depending on the outcome of the interviews, I may be... Okay, so Nicole's sister met her boyfriend. Do you remember? Over four years ago. Over four years ago, yes. Nicole's sister is probably... Not afraid to be different. Not afraid. How are things at the studio? This I'm sorry. How are things at the design studio? When will Tony's job end? In the summer. Okay. Let's do the next. Thing. Okay. Let's do the reading exercise. Cell phones. Okay, cell phone personality types. Do you understand this?
Okay, I'll take it like yes. In her travels, telephone doctors Nancy Friedman has noticed a variety of cell phone personalities. Which of these types have you seen around? One more time, I'm going to ask you, class. Do you understand the concept cell phone personality types? No. Thank no. you. Okay, great. Thank you. Just say yes or no. That's it. That's, it's, it was a close-ended question. There are different types of people. Yes. Uh, we always we always categorize categorize people by the types. Like in Spanish, está el tipo el chivo, el que sabe todo, el, el blah, 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 el blah, blah, blah. So there are personalities for cell phones. Yes. For example, number one is the shouter. Do you know what shout is? No. No. Okay, shout is when you speak very loud. Shout is when you speak very loud. Do you understand? Yes. Yes. I have a neighbor. She lives in front of me. I listen to everything she says. Imagine across the street when she speaks on the phone. And she's very like, <laughs> like, oh, man, she's the shouter. Okay, so. Number one, it says the shouter. Talking three times louder than necessary is characteristic of this offensive uh, of this offensive cell phone user. He seems to think everyone has a hearing import impairment. Do you know what is impairment? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. No. Like of something, this is ability to do or perform any activity. Yes. Or, uh, I mean, in this case, is uh, oddity of lack. <laughs> lack of, yes. Un impedimento, yes. Very good. Yeah. Hearing impediment, speaking impediment, walking impediment, something that does not permit you to completely do that. So one more time, the shouter. Talking three times louder than necessary is characteristic of this offensive cell phone user. He seems to think everyone has a hearing impairment. Doesn't he know the phone already amplifies his voice? Do you know a shouter? Yep, my dad. <laughs> Your dad is a shouter. Yeah, when he's talking over the phone, he he speak louder, so everyone <laughs> listen the conversation. But you know, you know what I don't like when you're in the movies and people start talking on the phone loud. Yeah, I hate that. Thanks. That's really rude. Yes, that's very. Don't do that. Number two. Ustedes les sale el nombre. No, verdad. No. No. Qué claro. Solía tener el nombre. Bueno, number one, the shouter. Why doesn't it have the name today? I think this, that's the exercise you have to choose. You read first yeah. the concept and then to choose in the. Yeah, in we the choose. We choose. But oh, there's a box? Yeah, and the previous. You gonna oh, oh, okay. That yeah, that's why. Okay, now I remember. <laughs> okay, so number two, it says, this pompous fellow makes all his business calls in public places while standing in the middle of a crowded room. 
he conducts big business deals right there in front of us, but we are not impressed. You know how sometimes men, they want to impress a woman and they start talking? Yes, tell him, se lo doy en cinco mil. Because they, they start speaking like money is nothing. So, you know, he's doing business over the phone, but this person wants everybody to listen. What do you think that person is called? The distractor, the shouter, the useless caller, the corporate big shot. The corporate big shot. Okay, big shot is um it's an adjective for la gran cosa, se cree la gran cosa. He thinks he is a big shot. Big shot. Like supervisors in a call center, correct? When they get promoted, oh man. The next day <laughs> they come with they come in with Starbucks. It's true. It's true. I, I don't know why. <laughs> And like, um, the coffee that is Colombian, Juan Juan Valdez. Valdez. Juan Valdez. Uh -huh. <laughs> they only, they only, <laughs> yes. Oh, okay, number three. The ex exasperating person makes tribal phone calls one after another, after another on airplanes. You'll overhear her saying ridiculous thing. Hi, we haven't left yet. Oh, hi, we just landed. Okay, see you in a minute. This is the person that is calling somebody and reporting everything. Hi, I am in the car. Hi, I am in traffic. Hi, I am in two blocks away. Hi, I am outside. You know, you know that type of person? Okay, so let's do that would be the I talk anywhere person. Wait, so text one is the shouter, correct? Shouting, yes. Text yes. number two is the big shot. Yes. Text number three, the I talk anywhere. Number four, making and taking calls anytime, anywhere. Wait, oops. She'll chat in restaurants, at movie theaters, and even at funerals. When her cell phone rings, she looks at you and says, oh, sorry about that. Which person is that? The I talk anywhere person. Yes. I talk anywhere, yes. One time, I, I last week on Friday, I was very, I had a very bad experience with, uh, with an Uber driver. It was a lady. She was a lady, and um, okay. So when I got on the Uber, what, she, happened, sir, what happened when you carved? No, it oh my car is home. Actually on Friday I was going to the um to the aduana to customs to get my car. So I took an oh. Uber. I took an Uber to to Nahapa. But this girl that picked me up, she was very rude because when I walked okay, so I go in the car and I said, Hi, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. My name is David. Thank you. Bye. So in the car, she was talking the whole way, completely on the phone, but she was gossiping. Do you know what is gossiping? No. Chambriano. No. 
gossip is chambre gossiping uh, yes. but uh she was very loud I, I mean i don't care if she was gossiping or not but she was very loud and um i needed to make a phone call because i needed to call my cousin hey primo i'm i'm in 10 minutes i will be there in some and she listened to me trying to talk but uh, she didn't care she was talking very loud and ugly music that banda no se que music. And I, I said, excuse me, can you please lower the volume because I need to make a phone call. She lowered it, but very, very minimal. <laughs> and um, when I got to Nehapa, it was $7. It was seven dollars, so I gave her ten dollars. Si hubiera salido buena onda, le hubiera dicho no, así que quede. You know what she did? She says, "Ah, no, pero cambio no tengo." So you don't have three dollars like that. No, pero si quiere vaya vaya a preguntar ahí, aquí lo espero. <laughs> like, oh, you bitch. <laughs> no, I, I, oh, I, wow. I, yeah, she did. Oh no. <laughs> But okay, you know, well, normally, yeah, yeah, you know, normally another person would have said, "Excuse me, let let me change, let me check." But she was rude during the way, and that's why I didn't want to give her the three dollars. Or maybe she she was she thought I was going to say, "No, it's okay, keep it." But she was very rude, so I gave her one star. Good job! Good job! <laughs> Yeah, it, it was. I felt bad, but it was the first time I did that. One star. <laughs> but she was, she was the I talk anywhere type. Okay, number five. Drive or use the phone. There's always a person that she drives or uses the phone. Don't do both at the same time. This can be dangerous. It's really scary to see a delivery truck in the rear view mirror with a distracted driver on the phone. So this person is careful. What what type of person is this? The distracted driver. Mm -hmm. Yes. The distracted driver. I think that you Uber, you took, it was a distracted driver too. Which one? Uh, no, the story about your Uber. Oh yeah, she could have been a distracted driver. Yeah, and because that was dangerous. <laughs> yeah, you know, Bert, yeah, you know, I would like to, I sh there should be an app invented about yeah. this distractive distractive driver and it should be an uh, obligatory that during yeah during, that's a good idea yeah you know when you're driving you can't text that it turns off the text but that's impossible <laughs> but it, it would be good yeah that would be awesome that is a good idea i remember when i was living in san salvador i didn't know all the bus stop and bus stop uh, and so i wanted uh something on the app uh, whatever to indicate when the the next bus stop because i had to ask people uh for example i want i was supposed to get to la nacional so i didn't know boulevard de los Heroes. <laughs> uh -huh. i was so scared because i didn't know nowhere in san salvador but at the end of the, when i finished well it was necessary because i get used to <laughs> you san know salvador. i i don't know if this has happened to you but this happens to me always when you need directions like you go to a place and you don't know where the store is or a local and you look for somebody que aparece local, you know like he looks like that person is from there and you tell them, excuse me, uh-huh, sí, sí, dígame. Do you know where is clinic, clínica dental saludable? And se quedan, ¿cómo, cómo? Clínica dental, sí, um, 
No, fíjese, no sé. But, you know, and they always say no. Or like, excuse me, where's the pupusería tal? ¿Cuál, cuál, cuál? No, no sé, fíjese. It's like, come on, man. You know, they never know and they live there. That's awful. That happened to me a lot in San Salvador. People are so... Yeah, no, as I said before, they don't want to talk to nobody, <laughs> to One, strange people. La, last week I went to Santa Anita and there's a famous place que dice por el cine, ex cine, no sé qué, que venden costillas, right? So I know where that theater is. It's a cine in Santa Anita. So I went and uh, I see some people outside the house. You know, people, they're just the family outside the house. I said, hi, disculpe, ¿dónde es el lugar que venden las costillas? Huh? ¿Cuál es? No, no sé. It was like right next in the next block. And it was a very big place. And I say, oh, man, are some people idiots or they pretend to be? <laughs> okay, number six. These are people who haven't bothered to personalize the ringtone. One phone rings and 10 people check to see if it's there. Hang on, I think it's my phone. What type of people are this? Generic ring. The generic ring, yes. I I have a lot of problems with um no not a lot of problems but I have had issues with my wife because um my wife she's addicted to this game garden secret garden gardenscape I, I don't know what the hell the name is <laughs> but um it is garden escape I guess it's about fixing like common problems like moving any moving the roof or something so it can, she can get the any star right yes that but you know we make a habit with my wife to watch a series on netflix like one day or like she chooses one series and then i choose one okay? but we watch it together you know that's having like um husband wife time And I hate that I'm watching TV and I look at her and she's always on the phone playing that. We are eating as a family and she's on the phone playing that. So she's she is she is the she is the I talk anywhere. She is the, I, I use my cell phone anywhere, everywhere, always. And I told her, hey, stop doing that. Or when she, she does that, I just go to the room and I watch TV by myself. <laughs> I don't like that. I think that's very disrespectful. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's not, it's not very nice. <clears throat> okay, so. Let's do section two. So we're only one day behind, but. Lesson two, objective, the present perfect and simple past. Before we start this, do you know the difference between present perfect and simple past? If I am correct. Excuse me? Claudia Giron, can you start, please? Yes, um, present perfect is an action that happened in, in the past, but before the past, the simple past. For example, yesterday I was, I have watched, um, I watched TV and I have had um, broken my control, something like that. 
Okay. It's an action that happened in the past. I like your explanation. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, okay. Anybody else? No, teacher. If I tell you in Spanish, okay, uh, for example, Bert. Bert. Bert puede decir, yo viví en San Salvador o yo he vivido en San Salvador. What's the difference? Which the is correct. simple fact is um, when something starts in the past, but is but continue in the present. Mm, you're 50-50. I understand it's like he could say like I used to live there it's like no I used long, to long time ago I long used time to ago. I used to no no you, that's different grammar mm, okay it's like I, I have lived there I okay good Ronald before you came start hablando Dalila yeah okay so, Dalila, you were 50-50. The definition you gave was correct, but not for simple past. It's for present perfect. The difference is, let's use Bert. Bert, he says, I lived in San Salvador. That is an action that started and the action finished in the past. What does it say? Simple. Simple past. It's, it's, it's like that. Simple past. It's not complicated. Yes. So simple pass is, for example, what did you eat for lunch today? I ate chicken. I ate chicken for lunch today. The action started and the action finished. Now, present perfect, the action started in the past, but still active. How long have you worked in tele in web help? Correct, Claudia Hero? Web help or teleperformance? Concentric. <laughs> concentrics. Concentrics. Yes. How long uh, have you worked in concentrics? I have worked there seven months, six okay. seven months. Okay, good. So if you yeah, notice, okay. she said I have worked there for seven months. So that means she started seven months ago and still. She works there. And and what about if I said I have been working there since no, I have been working there for over four years. It That's is a, correct. Yes, it's a present perfect continuous. Continuous. Mm -hmm. Because you're using Okay, because I used to I used to answer like that because no, it's how we speak in in Spanish. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's good. I mean the same oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. So, Ronald, I have a, a question for you. What is the definition of present continuous? Something that you have been doing? No. What is present, present continu continuous? Mm -hmm. Ah, the, the action you are performing at, at the moment. Exactly. What is the definition of present perfect? Present perfect, something you have done. No, but give me the definition. What I told you, the action. Like, when when did the action start? The action in the present. No, the action started in the past. In the. It's like Listen. not in the past, but I'm not sure how to explain it. But I I know that is the I have and and the the verb. No, in, no I, I, I know. I know you know, I know you know, but I want you to explain because there's a difference between knowing and explaining. When you explain is when you develop your ability to speak. Mm -hmm. So I gave I, I gave that explanation five, ten minutes ago. What is present perfect? The action started in the past, but it hasn't finished. Uh-huh. It's still active. So Present perfect, it says, the action started in the past, continues to the present. Okay. 
Okay, so can you repeat what is present perfect? The action started in the past, but mm -hmm. it is still it is it's still in the present. Okay, good. What is present continuous? The the action starts in the present, but it it con present continues. Mm -hmm. What ah, is it's the the action starts in the present, but it continues. No. Present continues. It's like I'm working. So the action. It starts in the present. No. Forget the present. The action is active. The action is in progress. Active. Okay. 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 When the, the action act is still active. The action is in progress. Okay. And the other one starts in the past, but it's uh, okay. in progress. It's okay, still in good. progress. Yes. Okay, Ronald. Yes. Okay. But I don't I don't want to confuse the class anymore. But es que te iba a hacer una tercera pregunta, pero hold on. <laughs> okay, okay. So present perfect, the action started in the past and continues to the present. Claudia has worked in concentrics. Seven yes. months for seven months, correct? Yes, so the action started in commence in November. On November, okay, so the action started in November and the action is still active. Now, there is one called present, uh, present perfect continuous. So the action started in the past in progress and continues to the present in progress. Let me give you an example. ¿Por qué, Ronald? Tú me dices, es que yo así lo digo en español, yo he estado trabajando ahí cinco años. Sí, es correcto. No dijiste nada realmente malo gramaticalmente, pero si lo quieres decir, la forma correcta es yo he trabajado ahí cinco años. Cuando se usa el presente oh. perfecto continuo es porque cuando la acción empezó en el pasado en forma continua y continúa al presente en forma continua. Por ejemplo, si yo voy a visitar a alguien bueno, cuando vengo a la casa, pregunto, ¿y el niño? Ah, el niño ha estado durmiendo tres horas. Yes, o cuando uno llega a una fiesta y ya ve a alguien que está bien bolo y uno dice, ella hey, este ya está bolo. Ha estado chupando desde la una de la tarde. Do you understand that expression? Mm -hmm. Lo siento por el ejemplo tonto, pero en, en situaciones así es cuando se usa el present perfect continuous. He has been drinking since one. So he started drinking, oigan esto, drinking, drinking. At one in the in the afternoon, he has six or seven at night, and he's still drinking. So I come to the party at seven. Hey, where's Jose? And Jose is like, man, ¿qué le pasa, Jose? Man, he has been drinking since one. Yes. Los doctores que a veces tienen turno de Imagine um, I go to the hospital and I see a doctor like this. Doctor, are you okay? Uh, I'm sorry. I have been working since six in the morning. That is a present perfect continuous because that doctor started working today at six in the morning. And she's still working. So the action started in the past and continues to the present in continuous time. O sea, está, está, está ejecutando la acción siempre. Okay, so that's, that's present perfect continuous. Pero right now we're going to learn simple past and present perfect. Do you understand present perfect? Yes. 
You see, that's the problem. If you say yes or no, yo entiendo. Perfectly, I understand. I want you to understand, but si, ni, ni siquiera me pueden decir ni sí ni no, ¿qué puedo hacer? ¿Me voy al siguiente? Yo sé que hay gente aquí que no entiende. Voy a ser honesto, yo sé que hay gente aquí que no entiende, o quizás no entienden completamente. Pero desde la semana pasada hasta hoy, nadie me ha hecho alguna pregunta, nadie me ha dicho no entiendo, y cuando hago preguntas se quedan callados. Le vuelvo y repito, de verdad, esto es por ustedes, no por mí. A mí no me falta nada. Yo puedo irme al siguiente, al siguiente. Y digo, ok, ok, ok. Hay mucha gente que piensa que con solo estar así viendo. No sé si una vez les expliqué. El inglés no lo van a entender así. De obra de maya no les va a entrar. Es muy interesante ahorita que estamos viendo estos temas. Querer entender. Hacer una pregunta. Ey, no entiendo. Wow, o sea que entonces es. ¿Qué auxiliares se usan? ¿Qué? ¿Me entienden? Pero... Mm, a veces ni sí ni no me ponen. Yes. Thank you. Sí, quería hacer un comentario respecto al, a, siempre a la gramática. Claro. Y eh, había leído algo referente a la estructura gramatical en español, y, mm -hmm. y, la, como latino, que es diferente a la estructura gramatical en España. Por ejemplo, los españoles dicen, me he roto la pierna. Y nosotros decimos, me rompí la pierna. Entonces, como que para ellos es un poquito más equivalente lo que es el el presente perfecto, el present perfect, porque él dice, I have broke my leg, pero no tenemos, I broke my leg. Entonces, creo que en eso está un poquito la, la, la confusión o la, el de claro. asimilar el concepto, porque nosotros utilizamos más el pasado simple, y los españoles pues utilizan el, el presente perfecto. Muy Imagino buena... que por ahí está un poquito la... Sí, sí muy, muy buen ejemplo, pero vuelvo y repito, ahí está muy bien, pero hay que saber bien, sí, las dos están, me rompí la pierna y me la he roto, pero la diferencia es, vaya, si yo estoy jugando fútbol y terminé en el hospital y me llaman, ¿qué te pasó? Y hey, me rompí la pierna. Ahí no va a decir, me he roto la pierna. Porque me la rompí. Ahora, ¿cuándo voy a usar? Me la he roto. ¿Qué te pasó? Me rompí la pierna otra vez. Sí, ya me la he roto cuatro veces. Ya. Yes. O sea que desde el pasado hasta hoy ya van cuatro veces que me va pasando. Es como decir, yo he ido a, a Disneylandia dos veces. O oh, yo fui. ¿Me entiendes? Eh, entiendo. Los españoles también. Le, el, un problema del español de España es que ellos son bien egocentristas a la hora de hablar su idioma. Y <ríe> por eso me da luz que a veces Netflix tiene español latino y español de España, porque como España es un gran mercado, ¿verdad? Pero el español de España solo ellos lo hablan. <ríe> no sé si han dado cuenta. Ah, ¿Se prefieren el doblaje feo de ellos? Sí, bien tonto. No, lo, lo que me cae mal y no entiendo es, ellos no dicen, aquel día está viendo Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie. Come on, man. O sea, este es grado. Si usted ve. Y la actriz de Angelina Jolie. Come on. No, se llama Jolie. En Spider-Man dicen Spider-Man. Sp Sp sí, porque son bien orgullosos. No, no respetan el nombre propio. Wi-Fi le dicen Wi-Fi. Y digo, pero es tan tonto esa ideología, porque entonces si no quieren decir Wi-Fi, invéntense un nombre ustedes. No digan Wi-Fi, digan Internet Inalámbrico. Porque la palabra es Wi-Fi. O oh, rápidos y fugosos. <ríe> sí, los nombres de las películas son chistosos. ¿no? El, el Risas, The Joker. Uh, there is uh, a, a movie it's 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 very popular and its name in english is the notebook and oh, yeah. i understand in spanish it's like mm, el, el diario de no i guess uh -huh, una pasión, una and, diario de una pasión and they call it cartas a noah <laughs> yeah it's es, ajá, bien, bien, son, son bien egocéntricos en eso. Pero, por ejemplo, a, ahí estaba como, Bert, ¿entiendes hoy la, la, la diferencia? De... 
me rompí, me he roto. Vaya, le voy a dar un una perfecto ejemplo. Creo que todos en la vida tuvimos una relación tóxica. O la vamos a tener, o la van a tener para los que están más jovencitos. Pero, ¿cuál era esa relación tóxica? Cuando cortabas con esa persona y le contabas a tu amigo, ella hey, corté con aquella. Ah. Pero mentira, porque la gente ya fue bien. Pero, si yo dije, corté con, voy a inventar mi nombre, ya corté con María. Hoy, el simple past. Pero a mí mi amigo me dicen, pero ya vas, ya van como 20 veces que han cortado. <ríe> sí, o sea que, desde el, ya, ya he cortado con ella 20 veces, desde el pasado hasta hoy. Hemos cortado 20 veces, o sea, probablemente vamos a seguir cortando hasta que va a llegar un punto que definitivamente, ¡pum! Bye bye, María. María se fue. Mm. Sí. <ríe> María se fue. Entonces ahí voy a decir. ¿Ya? Yes. Oh, ¿What? Hello, hello. Yeah, um, could you provide the same example in in English? Yes. Imagine, Dalila, imagine you are my best friend. I say, hey, Dalila, you know what? I broke up with Maria. Break up. Yes. Romper. Y Dalila, me va, la, si fuera la primera vez, me va a decir, oh, no, what happened? Oh, man, we, you know. Big difference. And... Pero, si es como la 28, 30, 40 veces que Dalila va viendo esta misma historia. Dalila, what? I broke up with, my, with Maria. Dalila said, oh, you're crazy, man. You have broken up with her 40 times this year. <laughs> you understand? Ya he cortado con ella como 40 veces este año. ¿Qué es el, ¿Por qué es presente perfecto? Porque este año ya empezó y no ha terminado. Entonces, 40 veces. Vaya. Um, how many times have you eaten fish, pollo campero, this month? Oh, no, está muy temprano. Hoy, hoy es cinco. How many times have you eaten pupusas this month? Eh, like o sea que en lo que va del mes nadie ha comido pupusas hoy. Wow, primera vez que oigo eso. I, I have... <laughs> In my case, no. <laughs> Really? I have eaten pupusas uh, two times this yesterday month. And, and the day before yesterday. Okay, good. That is present perfect because you said, I have eaten pupusas two times this month. Why? Because this month is still active. So there's a big probability, Ronald, that you will continue eating more pupusas this month. Pero solo el hecho de decir this month is present perfect. Now, last month was May, correct? Now, that's different. I ate pupusas five times last month. That is simple past. That... And what about if I were, if I moved to, to Spain and I'm not planning to go back to Salvador? So I lived in El Salvador. How old are you? 22, right? 22, yes. So when you go to Spain, it says, Hi, I lived in El Salvador for 22 years. 22 años viví en El Salvador. And I have lived in Spain three months. Mm -hmm. Pero aquí estás aclarando que ya nunca más vas a volver a El Salvador. At least that's the plan. Yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> yeah. So, really, don't complicate. O sea, no, se, no, no, no es de complicarnos mucho. Simplemente es que a veces nosotros 
lo hablamos tan natural, pero nunca analizamos un poquito. Eh, a, a veces, bueno, pregúntese ustedes mismos por qué se dice algo siempre en dos formas. Y yo sé que van a decir, ah, pero las dos formas están correctas. Sí, siempre van a estar correctas, pero pregúntense siempre por qué se dicen dos o tres formas diferentes. Porque a veces sí influye la, influye la gramática. Porque a veces, a veces es muy importante decir, yo viví, por ejemplo, Bert, eh, yo viví en San, San Salvador. Sí, yo he vivido en San Salvador. Puede que les, en ese sentido, Bert está dando a entender las dos formas que en el pasado vivió. Pero si se dan cuenta, los, gramaticalmente no lo está diciendo bien. Porque si él dice, yo he vivido en San Salvador, y yo viví en San Salvador, si él dice, yo he vivido, significa que aún lo está haciendo. Pero ya no vive acá, vive en San Miguel. So, I lived in San Salvador. And I have lived in San Salvador. There's a, there's, that's the difference. But that's what we will practice tomorrow, okay? Okay. Y saben que mañana los voy a separar en grupo y todos se van a hacer preguntas de simple present, present perfect, simple. Porque, ¿saben por qué se estudian estos dos a la par? Porque cuando, aunque no lo crean, de aquí pueden hacerse una gran conversación. Hi, where are you from? Oh, from San Miguel. Oh, really? I lived in San Miguel two years. Oh, when? Oh. I lived in San Miguel in 2015. Where do you live now? Oh, I live in San Salvador. I have lived in San Salvador for 10 years. Yeah. Boom. And, and this conversation is only simple past and present perfect. Simple past, present perfect. ¿Saben cuándo pueden hacer una conversación entera? Simple present, simple past, and present perfect. Una conversación básica, intermedia, siempre va a llevar esos tres tiempos. Always. Remember, that's what we will practice tomorrow, okay? Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay, okay teacher. Thank you, I'll see you Thank you. Do you like, do you like, do you like, do you like my background? Look. Yes, it's really nice. It's nice. <laughs> I noticed. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Okay. Bye, take care. Bye. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night.